Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to put our little no sew journal together. I did go ahead and make two more pages. I just added two more pages back there so it would be a little bit fuller. But in all, I have eight pages front and back. Well, I have 16 front and back. I have eight sheets. And then I have my two little notebooks already ready to go in there. And I'm not going to put those in right now. I'm going to put my tabs on first. And you'll know why in just a few minutes. Now, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. It just holds a little bit quicker. And I have my little tabs cut out of some material that one of you guys sent me. And I have them cut at one inch. And they're, let's see, they're about three quarters of an inch wide and they're one inch long. And that's plenty big enough. So you just want to stack your pages up and make sure that you have them the way that you want them to be in your booklet. And I'm pretty sure I do. I'm going to go through and just check, make sure that I've got all of them the right way up and not upside down. Yep, because I have been known to put them upside down. I did stitch around all of mine. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just what I prefer, but it's not something that has to be done. Okay. Looks like I have them all the right way up. So stack them up like this. You're going to start on the front. And you're going to put three little tabs. Now you can use lace for this. You can use um, any other kind of material. If you've got some burlap or whatever, you can use anything for this. I have seen people do these with lace. So it's just up to you. Okay. But what I want to do first is I want to mark my center. I just want to get mine a little bit more precise than just laying them up there. But you can do it either way you want. And let's see. That looks like my center right there. Okay. Now I don't have to mark the others because I'll just kind of guess at it. But I wanted to get this one pretty close. So what you're going to do is, first off, you're going to clean off your glue tip. Okay, here's, now, you're going to put just a tiny bit of glue, and I say tiny, just like a little strip, if you're using Fabri-Tac. Because Fabri-Tac catches pretty quick, pretty easy, and put it right up to the edge of your page there. You don't want to cover up a bunch of your page. So I'm going to put it... And I'm going to ravel a little bit of that end there, just so that it looks a little bit more even. And then I'm going to put it right down on the center. And I'm using probably a little bit more than a fourth of my tab. Let's see. Yeah, I'm using about almost a half, not quite a half of my tab. You just want enough to catch there, just like that. Then you're going to go up to the top or bottom, whichever one you want to do next. Just want to make sure that you come down a little ways from the top. Don't put it right on the edge. I usually come down about a half an inch. And I don't know why my glue is gumming, because I've got um, acetone in it. But I haven't used it in a while, so it's probably mad at me. There we go. Okay. So about half an inch, and then I'm going to, I just look at this one and get it pretty close to what I did on that one. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a handmade journal. And then you're going to come down to the bottom, and you're going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to come up about a half an inch, make a little strip of glue. And put my little tab on there. Now, if you've got a fabric that frays and you want to fray these before you put them down, that's fine. I like for mine to look a little bit frayed. And then I usually go back, and if I have any little loose pieces on there, I go ahead and add a little glue on it. All right, so that is your first tabs on your first page. Center, top, about a half an inch down. 
and then bottom about a half an inch up and you've got your first tabs on so you're going to flip this one over just like that that one looks like i got it a little crooked to straighten it okay and then this one and i'm going to lay my other ones over i'm just going to take them like that and just pull them over here it's easier for me when i don't have a big stack okay now on this one you're going to put two so you go three two three two like that and i need to get one tab not two tabs and what you're going to do is line these up so i just kind of line them up on my grid they don't have to be exactly right but just close and then these tabs are going to go in the center of where these were like that so that one would go there and then i've got another one that will go down here and i'll just kind of center them up don't you know don't worry if they're not exact just kind of center it up like that so let's glue those down Did I just put that way too high? I think I did. Let's move it on down a little bit. There's that one. So we don't want it right in line with it. We want it kind of centered up between them. And then this one, you want it centered up between the two. And that looks pretty close right there. Now you're going to flip this over lay it down again checking to make sure everything is the way that you want it to be the right way up and then i line these pages up pretty even then you're going to take these three tabs not the ones here but the three tabs the one that you put on the front page and you're going to attach those to this and you're going to leave a little room in here you're not going to pull them tight because you want room for this little journal to expand. So I usually put about like that over. That leaves me a little room. You can see it's got a little squishy room there. And that's what you want. Now one time I made one of these and I cut my tabs really long. <laughs> And I didn't cut them off, and that was the mistake, because you don't need big tabs, big long tabs. An inch is plenty long enough. Now I'll hold it up and let's see if I, you can see. See, I left a little space right there. So they're not, all, you know, tight together. Okay, so lay that back down. I'm going to bring in your next page. And then you're going to put three tabs on because we got two showing. So let's put three on this time. And I just, again, line it up as best I can. I make sure that my page here is the right way up. And then I just kind of lay that tab over that other one. And that will come closer to ensuring that your tabs are the right way. Now, my material is a single-sided material. So when I put this on like this, the tab that's going to show on the outside is going to be the back side, which that doesn't bother me, right? Back side, front side, I don't care. But if you want to make sure that the, this side shows, then you'd have to put this upside down. Because when it's folded, this is going to be the part that shows on the outside. Like I said, it doesn't bother me. Some of them are going to be right side up, some upside down. I don't mind either way. But, and I'm just, that's just because I'm using a single sided material. Normally, you wouldn't have to worry about this, which I don't worry about it anyway, but <laughs> you know I don't worry about it. I figure handmade, handcrafted. All right, 
that one a little bit more over. Now, I'm not putting that so far over because I've got my little pocket here and I don't want to mess my pocket up. You could cut that out if you wanted to around your little pocket, but I'm just gonna leave it, but I'm not necessarily gluing that part down, okay? So now what you're gonna do, you've got your three on, you're gonna flip this over, line it up, and then you're gonna do your two. You're gonna bring your two over, okay? Not the three, not the one you put on the other side, but the two. So you're attaching the pages together by doing every other tab. So, so this tab is on the other side of this page, but this tab is on that next page underneath. So you're, tab you're connecting every other page and that makes your no sew journal tabs. Some people call this a tab journal, no sew journal. I don't know. I just call it a cute little journal. And if you don't like to sew or you don't want to sew, this is an easy peasy one for you. Okay. Now we'll line that up and we've got three showing. So we're going to put two on this time. Now my little notebook's going to go there. You can see why I didn't glue it down first. Because if I had glued it down first, I'd have had to hold it up to put my tabs on. But now I can put it on and I don't have to worry about my tabs. All right, let's put two down. Let's get it kind of straight here, Edith. And you just keep going like this. And I just, like I said, I line them up with this one on this side. Because when this is all folded together and you see the spine, you're gonna see how these are lined up. Which, it, if it doesn't bother you to have them out of line, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But if you want them perfectly lined up, then you need to, you know, just be careful putting them down and lining them up with the one on the other page. And you can see I didn't glue that top down right there because there's my pocket. I just glued this part down here, down, okay? So we'll flip this one over, lining it up, and just double checking to make sure that I've got my pages right side up. And then I'm gonna bring over the two, I mean the three, I'm sorry, the three. You can really tell if you get confused you can hold it up like this, and you can see that you don't bring that one over because that one would just attach that page to itself. So you're gonna have to bring this one over. Okay, so let's go ahead, get it lined up. Put our little bit of glue on there. Leave a little bit of play room in here because if you wanna stuff a lot of tags and things in here, you're going to need to leave a little bit of play in it. And I like to stuff mine full, so I leave a little play in there. Now, if you accidentally cut your tabs too long, or you have some that are looking long, just go ahead and trim them off now. Okay. Let's go ahead with our next page. This is our next page. And I'm gonna lay it down. That's my little notepad to go on there. Well, I don't think it goes on there. I think it goes on a different one, but anyway. We'll put the notepads in in a minute. All right, I'm just gonna get it pretty straight. Now on this one, I'm gonna put three. And if you already know how to do this, you can just fast forward right through this part but there's a lot of people who don't know how to do this and they were excited about a little tab journal or no sew journal, so I wanted to show it step by step. And I started on my video a little while ago and Brooklyn called. She said, Nana, have you got some work that I can do because I need to earn some Christmas money? I said, sure, come on over. She said, well, I will be over there tomorrow. Mama's gonna drop me off. I said, okay. 
so she's got to earn her some Christmas money. So there's my three tabs. Take this one, flip it over, line it up, and then I'm going to attach my two tabs. That one and that one. And she'll probably do another video while she's over here. She got some more suggestions of another video to do. So she probably will go ahead and do one while she's here. Okay. I'm just making sure I've got some room there. All right. This one. And on this one, we're going to put two tabs. Lining it up with that. And I would use my little tool that I used to press the glue down with, but I think my daughter borrowed it. I don't see it in my little stash over here. Or it may have been Brooklyn. But anyway. Alright. Whoops. Got to move that one up a little bit. Right, we got our two tabs. Flip this one over. Line it up. Now, the better you line these pages up now, the better your little journal is going to look. So I line it up and I kind of hold them. And then we're going to put the three tabs on this one. We're going to glue this three down because we glued two on the other side. Now, when I first made one of these, <laughs> what I did was I went through and I marked each one of my pages with a little note. And I put three, two, three, two, three, two, all the way through so that I would not forget what I was doing. And you can do that if you want. If it gets confusing for you, just go through and mark your pages. Okay, there's our three. Let's lay that aside. Okay, here's another page. And we're going to push that up just about even there. And this one's going to get three because we've got two showing. So it's going to get three. That's one in the middle. And I love my Fabri-Tac for this because they stick, this fabric sticks real quick with it. And you don't have to kind of fool around with it or hold it or anything like that. Fabrifix works good too, whichever one you have. We sell both. Your art glitter glue would work, but when you're doing material with art glitter glue, material to paper, sometimes you have to hold it a little bit. All right, we got three there. We're going to flip it over, line it up. Just like that, and then our two is going to come over, and that works out pretty good because we don't have to cover up a pocket there, so that's good. Leaving it a little loose. Okay, and then on this one, I'm just going to put my glue right down through there. That's not going to close up my pocket or anything like that. Well, I got so much glue on my fingers, it's sticking to my fingers instead of my paper. There we go. All right. And then our last page, and I put that on the last page, and then I'll do some decorating on that. Our last page... It's going to get two. Let's see if I've got two more cut. Oop, I do. Okay. 
Okay. Not there. Right there. And then we're going to flip this over. Line it up. And then we're going to attach the three here. Now see, you could go ahead and add more pages because you've got your tabs there. I don't want to add any more pages, so I am finished with my tabs. Now, what I do is just go ahead and glue these little tabs over as well. You can go, not even put them on there if you don't want to. There's no reason that you have to have these on. But I've got in such a habit of adding them on there just in case I'm going to add more pages that I just did it and didn't even think about it. But you don't really have to have these on. But they're on there now and I'm not going to, not going to pull them off. All right. So that's how the spine looks. Isn't that cute? And see, mine are not perfectly straight, but they're straight enough for me. I don't mind that. Now, when you... Let me close my glue up here. When you open this up, see you've got lots of room in here where you can add all kinds of um, tags and embellishments and all kinds of things. So you've got lots of room to add. And it's going to feel a little bit like this right now, but when you get everything added in here, it won't. Go ahead and put our little pages on here. Now, I may not finish a lot of this today as far as embellishing. I did want to show you how to add the pages together, but I don't know how much more I will do. Um, I've got an appointment this afternoon, so I need to get ready for that. See if I can get my hands cleaned up so they won't think I've got something wrong since I've got so much black stuff and glue on them but uh just it's just a normal checkup don't worry it's not anything serious and let's see check up on my blood sugar and let's put this one here like that and i'm just using the fabri because that's what i had out but you could use whatever you might have to put these on. And you can see I just stitched them together where we made these yesterday. Now, if, if you're just seeing this video and you're looking for the first one where we made the pages, I'll have that linked below so you can go back and look at that. All right, so there are, there's our little notebooks in there. And now we're ready to start adding lots of tags and things. I think it's going to be cute. See, this is what I like about it. Look how it expands. You've got all this expansion where you can put all kinds of stuff in there. So, let's see. Did that slide? Yes, it did. Clip these down since I glued that with Fabri-Tac. Just until they dry because I'm fooling with this and it's going to end up falling out of there. And then we'll put a few embellishments on. We won't do a lot. Because I do have to get ready. Someone asked me where I got these little clips. I got them off of Amazon. They're in my Amazon store. If you go to my Amazon link below, you should be able to find them with no problem. All right. And you may hear my stomach growling. I'm sorry. I haven't ate lunch because I needed to do a little bit of fasting before I go, so... My stomach's going to growl a little bit, so just excuse it. All right, let's see. 
I'm going to put something on here. I'll probably put some lace on there. But these are cute little tags to put in here. So we can go ahead and ink some of these up and put those in there. It's come in the um, e-club kit for December. And I think all of those are sold out. I know some people was looking for them. I think they're all gone. I think all we have left is we have some October and or September and October maybe. And those are on a good sale, so let's see. What do we want to put down through here? Maybe some little banners. Magical moment. Might as well put a third tag. There's Santa himself. There we go. Three tags in there. All right, I know I want to put this little tag on there, but I don't know what I want to put up here yet. So I think I'm going to wait on that till I put some other embellishments down, and then I'll come back to that probably. So we'll put that holly jolly right there. A little bit less glue than I did. Let's see. Let's just cut this. This one was the one that messed up on the uh, laser cutter. So we'll just use it. We'll use the half of it. Okay. Then I'll come back to that when I figure out exactly what I want to do. I want to put something right here. I think I'm going to come in with this little piece of doily. I don't know. These doilies didn't come in the kit, but we sell these doilies, and this is just a little piece I had in my stash. Got, got red ones and white ones and blue ones. I don't think we have any green ones. I don't think they offered any green this time so let's see what else do we want to put on there my little embellishments are all over the place that's my problem I need them in a little cup and I didn't drag my little cup out to put them in there so oh that's cute we could put that little birdie there but I am going to ink him up I would trim that white off, but I don't want to take the time to do it, so I'm just going to ink it. We'll put him there, I think. And we need a little label of some kind. Let's see what we've got. There's a little label that just says, We Believe. Oh, I love that movie. Do, do you guys like that movie? Um, Polar Express. I love that movie. I could watch it every night, I think. Okay. I think that's got that good. And then I'll, I may do more decorating in different places, but I'm just putting the main decorations on right now. Now, I had something for that that I really, really liked. And where was it? Yes, I love Polar Express. I love all of the um, Home Alone movies. I love all of those. I just laugh. I get. I have a good time laughing through those. There, that's the one I wanted right there. All the trimmings, and then uh, 
let's see. I could put Christmas tree right there and put all the trimmings down here. So tell me what your favorite Christmas movies are. I love <clears throat> I love all of the older ones too. Whit and I used to watch those together every year, but I don't think I'm going to be able to watch them this year. So I'm probably going to have to watch some that he didn't like because we liked um you know, Christmas on 34th Street or I think something like that. I don't remember exact name. We liked um, the old black and white one for um, Scrooge. We loved all of those, but I just I I can't imagine myself watching them this year. I think it would it's just going to be too hard. So I probably won't be watching those unless my kids just make me, because. That was just our tradition every year. We started about this time, and each week we would try to watch two. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to quit talking about this. We tried to watch two good Christmas movies just by ourselves, and it was our, our thing, you know, something that we wanted to do and we done together. And this year it's just going to be too hard. <clears throat> anyway, back to our, uh, back to what we're doing here. One day you might watch a whole video without me getting emotional. I don't know if you will or not. Right now, it's just the way it is. This season is just tough. Right, I think I might just tuck that one in there. Have have the three like that. All right. And then we got our little notepad on that side, and then we have another another here. So what can we put there? Um, let's see. We could put Santa across there. That would be cute. I may have to get a different color ink. Sorry, guys. I went <clears throat> a little bit quiet on you. I know I'm just I'm having a moment here. <laughs> I, I just I can't talk about a lot of Christmas and things like that right now. I just can't do it. All right. Put that little heart there. And then I'd like to put a little something on the front of this. What have we got? Now I can't see. Because, you know, when you cry, you get your eyes all watery, and then you can't see. So that's good. Let's see. What about, what about Santa on there? What about, let's just put Santa. Now, I would love to trim all of that white off, and I think I will. Y'all, I'll just fast forward this part or cut it out. Because you know how to trim, but I just can't. I don't want that white on there. I just don't go. And I don't want to put green ink on it because my background's green. And I'm too, a little bit too lazy right now to get up and get another color ink. So, okay, we've got that trimmed out. And I'm just going to sit it down right there. There we go. All right, we'll flip over. Oh, we didn't put any kind of tag in there. Do I have any kind of tag? Um, I'm to the point where I may have to make a few tags, I think. I've got a couple more here, but I need to make a 
few, I think. Put that there. Oh, that's a little bit blendy, blendy. Let's see. I'm going to grab some of these Tim Holtz pieces. These are the little Tim Holtz tags that we have. And they're in the store. And let's see. Let's try that one behind. There we go. So we use some of those. And then need a little tag or something here. We could probably use that one there. Yeah, that would work. And then use a couple of these. All right. And then we want to put something down through here. Now, on some of these, I'm going to put some lace. So I'm not going to cover all of them up. But I do want a little bit of something there. I'm sorry, guys. Now I got the sniffles. Ugh. It's just the way I roll. That's what Benji says. Benji says that all the time and we laugh at him. That's the way I roll. I cry and then I sniffle. I cry and sniffle. Okay. I do have a tissue somewhere. And then we'll put something else up here and maybe some little lace down through there. Could put that there. I think that's cute. And that's just one of the chipboard pieces. And since we have plenty of room between these, it doesn't hurt to add the chipboard piece. Make sure I get it straight. Er. And then on this side, I don't have a pocket. So I may end up putting a little flip out or something here, just so you'll have some journaling room. I'm going to wait on that, though. We have a little bitty tuck spot here. And we need to cut out a little tag, I think. It also comes with these little tags. So we can go ahead and cut out one of those. And what do we want? I think I just want to put the Merry Christmas little sign there. We'll put Santa somewhere else. Oh yeah, I like that. Now, on the back, I don't know if you could write, but I will probably end up backing these. So, I'll just, I won't back them right now. I'll just back them when I finish this. Let's see. We could tuck little Santa in there and let him stick out just a little bit. And I think I may round the corners on this little guy that way. Maybe he'll stick out a little bit more. I wasn't going to do all the decorating, was I? Well, you know, I can't stop. Even though I do need to stop here in a minute. And I'm going to have to clean up my face now because if my doctor sees me squalling again, he's going to say, okay, let's go ahead and get some more drugs. <laughs> I don't want any more drugs. Oh, me. No, seriously. He doesn't, I, he doesn't have me on a lot of drugs. I'm just on the same drugs that I was on, but... He keeps calling me and asking me how I'm doing, and uh, I know why he's doing that. He's wanting to see if he does need to add me on anything else, and I, I just don't want to take anything else if I can keep from it. So, let's see. I think I might want to add one of these tags and cover it, but I'll do that later because you guys know how to do that. And then on here, I think I might put just a little strand of something on there maybe some green of something of some of that that's green maybe i'll talk in a minute i did learn how to talk one time <laughs> now i feel like i need some kind of pocket or something here because i don't really want all those houses to show so let's see what we can do let's 
I might just trim that down and use it for a little side tuck. Let's do that. Yeah, I have a very, very sweet doctor. He, uh, he calls me pretty often or texts me or has his wife too. And, um, he came to the funeral. He, he knew when. We'd been friends for quite a while and he and his wife came to the funeral and Whit had just seen him the Thursday before and he he was just upset that he didn't detect that there was something wrong, but Whit didn't go to him for anything wrong. He, he said he felt good. He just went to him to get a little bit of, he was having some anxiety attacks, so he went to him to get some anxiety medicine, which is something his heart doctors wouldn't give. So... Dr. Thomas, he had no clue. Like I told him, there, there's no reason for you to blame yourself because he felt fine on Thursday when he come to you. He felt fine on Saturday morning. I mean, it all just hit, so. Okay, let's put that there, and that can be a little tuck. And I'm not going to cover up my stitches. I want my stitches to show, so I'm just going to put this on the inside of the stitches. I trimmed it off a little bit more so I could do that. And I'll just put it down like this. And hopefully, and then I may put a little piece of lace or something just right there at the edge, just to keep it from looking a little bit odd. I don't know. I may not. But, um, and I think I want to put... One of these little buttons on here. Just a little snowflake button right there. And then we can tuck a tag under there. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. See if it'll work. Oh yeah, that works good. I like that. And then our little, we can take these off now I think. Got our little notepad there, and then there's the back. And I still don't have enough in there, so I will be going back and adding more tags and tucks and different things. And that one blends too much with the background, so we're going to go with a different one there. Maybe this. It's got your Christmas plum pudding on there. See, on a lot of these, I'll add more than one tag. I won't just have one in there. I'll have two or three. Okay. And then that will fill it out. And then when I put the lace in there too, that'll fill it on out a little bit more. I'm going to be adding more tags. I probably can add a couple more pockets. Let's see. Oh, I don't have a tag in here at all. Look at that. Let's see. I kind of like that one. I don't know if it'll work. Yeah. It works. And let's go ahead and put a smaller one in there. Put that one there. Nope, that blends too much. Let's just put a label thing in there. And that kind of kind of goes there, doesn't it? Nope, let's do the green one. Very indecisive today. I'm normally not that way. Okay. That will work. Okay, and then I want to add something here because there again, I've got too many houses going on there. I want to cover some of those houses up. So I'll come back and add something here. I'm not sure what. And, and here I go. I always say, I'm going to add it later, but then guess what? I don't want to add it later. I'm going to add it now. Let's see. See what we can do with one of these. These are so cute. Look at that. Do a little narrow pocket there like that. I think I'll wait on this. I've got another idea of some of these scraps that I might do. So I think I might wait on that. We could put that on there as a little tuck spot at the top. On some of them. I've still got tons of embellishments. I want to embellish this tag, put some string in the, those, 
and then I may do a little bit more to that page. I definitely want to do something else here. It needs a third something. And then this one I want to do something to to kind of break that up. I may do that and put that down at the bottom. I like that gold with that gold there. So we'll probably do that. I need another tag here. And then I'm going to have to have to go. I'm going to have to have to go. Let's use a tall one. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that. I love that. That'll work. More tags there. Oh, it's a cardinal. Or is that a red bird? I don't know my birds. It's some kind of bird. <laughs> so we got another one there. Then we need to put something here. I've got two tags. No, I've got one tag there. We can put another tag here. Let's see. I may just call the doctor and tell him I can't come. I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> no, I better not. He would get me. I did that. That one's too blendy blendy. Mm -hmm. I, I need to make a tag for that. And then here we didn't put any tags. What in the world, Edith? You didn't put any tags there. Let's make sure that goes in there well, and it does. And I love that bird on there. And then this, I think, I think, I think. I might have to put the small ones here. Yeah, let's put the small ones here. They would look better anyway, probably. Took that one in on that side. And then let's just do a little plain one behind it, like that. Oh yeah, I like that. And then I want to put some little embellishments here. Let's do this little piece there. And let's do a ho 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 maybe over here. Oh, I wanted to put something bigger there to cover up that those presents are sideways. <laughs> so, let's see what we're going to put. Let's just put that there like that. And this, this is just one of the little sticky things and then on this page I need to do something put some pockets or something to kind of break it up so it's getting even more chunky all right I still have quite a bit to do to this but I need to stop now so I can go get ready and go to the doctor before they call me and send the search party out for me all right guys I will let you go uh we will do more to this and finish it up probably in the next video uh don't know exactly if that'll be tomorrow or not it'll be depending on whether brooklyn has my computer tied up doing her filming but anyway we will finish this up and i want to decorate the front a little bit more i have a a gold jelly pen this is a metallic jelly pen that i want to do some little gold fleeking on the front but I don't want to do that until I get finished so that it I won't rub it off because knowing me I would rub it off so I'm gonna go and we will talk to you in the next video hopefully you enjoyed this at least maybe now you can go and make you one of these put this on like that there it's very easy very simple and it just makes a cute little journal and you know when you get it filled up now, if you're not planning on putting a lot in yours, then go ahead and make these a little bit tighter. But I plan on filling this even more, so that's why I wanted to leave mine a little looser. But if you're not planning on putting a lot in it, then you can go ahead and make your pieces here a little bit tighter when you join them together. But I want mine nice and full and chunky, and then I'll close it up probably with some seam binding. 
all right we will talk to you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed we're trying to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's a goal that Whit and I set together that um, he had, we had talked about it and he said, I would like to see you reach that goal. And he was always proud of me and backing me up. So I'm trying to go ahead and reach it, even though I've kind of got a little bit behind here with everything. But let's just see if we can do that. If nothing else, I'm going to try to do it for him. I think that would just be, that would make me so, so happy. But anyway, if you don't mind, you can hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.